Hey, 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 family, it's your girl Evelyn of The Evelyn Inc. And I'm back with another episode of Find Your Flavor. And so today I want to talk to you about a concept that really like hit me one day. And I was like, girl, oh my God, this is so true. And it was so um, powerful in my perception, like of how I manage my day-to-day life, how I achieve my goals, how do I move throughout these things, right? So you, you've heard me talk about like that, about strategic self-care. You've heard me talk about business. You guys know that I am a culinary brand consultant um, by day. And, um, you know, a lot of things I talk about with my clients is basically like project management type stuff that their business is a project that they're working on, right? So one day I was kind of just doing my own personal growth and development, which y'all know I'm into. I was reading, I was watching different things and all this kind of stuff. And it dawned on me as I was putting um, some systems and structures in place for some new projects that I was working on my business that I realized that I didn't have some of these same structures in my own life. And like in an instant, it dawned on me that the biggest project I will ever manage is myself. And I started thinking about some of the principles of project management and the like six questions that you like when you embark upon a new project, like there's like these six questions that you ask yourself. And so I was like, you know what, like, let me go back and revisit this for me as a woman, for me as a human, as a person, like, let me answer these questions for myself. And then let me put this structure in place very similar to what I would do for a business project in place for my own life. And I know for some people that may sound like really boring or rigid or restrictive, but listen, it has been a game changer. Like, you know, I like to talk about goal getting and goal setting and all that kind of stuff or whatever, but I really feel like this was like a missing piece. And the and my perception about how I operate my life, okay, is now based on this. So um, I'm going to say this is six questions to cultivate your life or it's the beginning of finding your own flavor, right? Like I go more in depth in my Find Your Flavor course. So if you're like, you know what, I really want to get um, strategic and specific and intentional about my life in every single area, this is like a sample of what we go into much deeper inside of Find Your Flavor. So here are the six project management questions that typically are used for project management and I've taken them and I'm applying them to life. So the first one is who. Okay, and let me just run through the questions. Is who, what, when, where, why, and how? You've probably heard that before. If you've done any kind of project management, you probably have heard that concept before. Who, what, when, where, why, and how? But when you apply it to yourself, it takes on a completely different life form, but is super effective. So the first one is like answering Who do you desire to be in each area of your life? You know, um, I was having a conversation with Patricia, a.k.a. Guys Design, and we were talking about friendship, maybe um, when we first started doing our live streams. And we were talking about, like, I had to decide what kind of friend I wanted to be, right? Um, Like, I I had to decide what kind of woman I wanted to be, what kind of entrepreneur I wanted to be. I I just had to decide, right? Um who I wanted to be in that way. And then it's like, um, what do I want? What do I want my ideal life to look like? What do I want my ideal friendships to look like? My relationships to look like? And this is not about perfection or trying to iron out every single wrinkle or detail, but it's like, who do I want to be? Then what, what does that look like? Right? Like if I was to envision that, what is that? Okay. And then it was like, when, when do I want to start? When I want to stop something, when do I want to change? When do I want to check in, evaluate, adjust, right? Like how often am I checking in on my goals? You know, is this working? When I when I made the decision, it's very it's like goals, like how often are you checking in your goals? But that's no different than project management. You got to see if what you set out to do is working or if you're making progress. And a lot of times people set goals and then they're just like, "Ah, I set them." And then they're off and they're on their way. So it's like, when do you want to start down this new path? When do you want to stop doing certain things? When do you want to change? When do you want to adjust? When do you want to check in? Um, when do you want to evaluate? Like, 
and actually have dates and times for those things. Okay. It's kind of like if you're on a weight loss journey, how often do you want to check in? Maybe you don't want to get on the scale every day, but maybe you want to take your measurements every two weeks or once a month and get your, you know, BMI and all that kind of stuff. When do you want to evaluate it? Right. But you first have to decide who you want it to be. Do you want to be a fit person? What does that look? What does fit look like to you? Some people with six packs, some people, they want a yoga body. Some people, they just want to be slim thick. Okay. <laughs> um, where, where do you want to spend your time, your energy, your money? Where? So let me give you an example. So I am in the process of kind of like curating my makeup collection. I think we've talked about this in another video that I'm like, I'm not in a phase where I want to have 5,000 different products. I'm very clear about kind of how I want to look as a woman and what that takes. And so one of the things I decided is that I wanted more luxury products than drugstore. Just something that I wanted. But then I also said, but I also want black owned brands. So then I started going down the journey. I said, okay, well there's Pat McGrath and then there's Fenty and then there's, there's all these other br brands. Do they have the products that I need and that I want and that work for me? And I want to start there first with luxury black owned. That's just what I want. Then I'll supplement with things that maybe don't fit that, but I had to decide where do I want to spend my time, my energy, and my money, right? So whether that's where do I want to spend my time socializing, where do I want to spend my money giving for charitable causes, my clothes, you know, the way I keep my home, where do I want to spend my time, my energy, my money, my resources, even my thoughts? Where do I want my thoughts to live? Do I want my thoughts to live in a place of, how can I get it done? How can it work? Everything is figure outable, or do I want to f live in a place, my thoughts to live in a place where it's like, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Oh, that's going to be too much. Negative, negative, negative. I get to choose. I get to choose where I want my thoughts to live. And therefore, like I talked about in another video, and then I get to put a system in place to maintain that. Okay. That's all find your flavor is, is once once you answer these questions in detail and I walk through a lot more detail than I'm doing in this video and find your flavor but it's like once I walk through these questions now how do I put a system in place to maintain these decisions to start them and then to maintain them um why okay this is the this is the big one everybody says start with why you probably should just like um what's your why What's your life's driving lens? I heard my pastor talk about this recently and he was like, everybody pretty much has like a lens in which like it's there no matter what. I, this is at the end of the day, this is going to be the deciding factor for some people is they want to win. So for some people is they want to be successful. For some people is they want to be well liked. For some people, it's whatever. Mine is I want to be free. I like to be free with, I want to have freedom with my time. I want to have freedom with my location. I want to have creative freedom. My lens is freedom. And that's my why. I want to be free to choose the kind of woman I want to be and all this kind of stuff. So getting really clear on what's your underlying why in life, right? Why do you want to be this woman? Why do you want to spend your money in this place? Why do you want to start now or versus later? like get to your why and the last piece is um how how do I want this to function how is this going to happen um how do I want to communicate how do I want to elevate how do I want to grow what's the process like let me let me give you an example listen I am I am I am always on a health journey and I have realized that I need to incorporate exercise into my health journey and so for the longest period of time I was in and out of the gym and in and out of group training programs and I was just like I don't know why I won't stick to it and the reality was is because I had picked up somebody else's version on how I wanted to accomplish this goal and so I sat down one day and I was like the reality is I asked myself I said how do I want to move my body because that's all exercise is, is moving your body. I was like, how do I want to move my body? Do I want to be doing pull-ups and push-ups and monkey bars and kettlebells or whatever? And I realized, no, I do not. I can do it. And when I'm there and in the adrenaline of it, like kicking my butt, I kind of like it, but not enough to stay. And I realized what the, the way I love to move my body is to dance. And so I was like, so why are you forcing yourself to do something to get to this result? The result doesn't have to change, but how I get there can change. It's kind of like financial freedom. You can 
penny pinch and save your way to financial freedom. You can make a lot of money to to get to financial freedom. You can do a combination of both. You can invest in real estate or you can invest in the stock market. You can have a high paying job or you can have a business or both or a combination of different things that there's not one right or wrong way to do it. But you get to decide how. And I think a lot of times the reason why we don't stick to things is because we picked up somebody else's how and we didn't find our own flavor. Right. So when when you think about that, like ask yourself these questions if you want to go deeper and really get into like, how do I answer these questions for every area of my life? And then how do I put a system in place for that? That's where I created to find your flavor, because that's like the before we can even get into our our um community that I'm creating is like you have to go and do this work first and then we can go and put you know the icing uh, and the seasoning on top right you got to find your flavor first and then you can surround yourself with like-minded thinkers so that's it for this video uh let me know in the comments below have you ever thought about your life as like a project to be worked on and not in a um, oh you're terrible and you know um and, and you'll never be worthy kind of way. Not like that, but just as a, a constant improvement, a constant tweaking. There is no such thing as perfection, but there is this such thing as continuous improvement. If you've ever worked in like manufacturing or corporate America, you've heard CI, continuous improvement. That's project management. How are we continuously improving and becoming and evolving a better version of ourselves? And so anyway, uh, have you heard of this concept before? Do you like this? Does this feel like something you could do easily let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Peace.